Now, this picture shows a house in Cookville, Tennessee, before the storm. Our lead national correspondent, David Begnow, shows us the scene now. And, Gail, look at this now. Yeah. This is what's left of that home. When you look at it, you can understand how three people died here. Yesterday, Gail, we told you that story of hope and survival. Today, it's one of grief. This is where the Kimberlins lived, mom, dad, and little baby Sawyer. We just turned two last week. It's, uh, now it's gone. Okay. Yeah, that's a they're all, they're all gone. Clint Pitts shared with us these photos and videos of his sister, Erin, a former school teacher, her husband, Josh, a mechanical engineer, and their only child, Sawyer. You say a prayer? The Kimberlins were devoutly Christian, and Sawyer, the grandson of a preacher, loved to direct song with one of his favorite books, the church hymnal. There's something about a family unit going together that is, I don't know, I just can't get it out of my mind. As terrible as this sounds, they wouldn't have wanted to live without each other. It hurts, but they're all together now. And that's, that's all we can really, you know, at this point, that's all we can, all we can ask for. Uh, they've asked the churches, they were members of the church, the little boy that was singing, they've asked the churches to sing a song for this child. They love this song. Uh, and they want, to, we're going to post it on Facebook for them. They're asking different churches to do this this morning. And so we're going to sing that song for them. So if y'all would stand up, Matt's going to lead us in that. Holy, 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 Lord Holy, holy. 